Hey y'all, it's Maddie from the Itty Bitty Homestead Committee. We're having a Viking funeral for a rabbit, and today we're going to talk about the importance of male to female ratios in quail, so let's hop into that. So this is Scar. He is one of our jumbo white roosters, and as you can see, him and another boy got into a pretty bad fight. His eyeballs kind of messed up, but we're going to put him on quarantine for a little while so that eye has a chance to heal. So this is a scar a week later, and as you can see, his eye is basically completely healed. There's still a little bit of gunkiness around it, but he's doing really good with his new hens. Here are the hens that Scar was with when the uh, incident happened, and if you watch all of them moving around, you'll notice that there's a bit of blood everywhere, and that's just because Scar and another rooster got into a fight, and we didn't have the proper male to female ratio going on here, so the males were a little wound up, so we did have to separate. What can also so that, happen when you, you don't know, have a proper male to female ratio is you can get like this little cell dude on rooster here where you get picked on because you're the smallest rooster. We actually just replaced him with another celadon rooster that's a bit larger than him. And we replaced all the other roosters in here as well because of the aggression, but also because it was about that time because you want to replace your roosters once every six months to a year for fertility reasons. I also wanted to note that these are actually my quails that are breeders that I got from Freedom Quail Farm that are going to be a part of my program coming up here. This is the first hatch that we had in February and that's the one that we didn't have the greatest success on because we learned how fragile these guys were up in the mountain cold. But they're doing really great. We just sexed them last night. Um, there are three roosters in here and these are our breeding hens that we're going to keep um, for now, and we'll see who I like better compared to this hatch from February, compared to the incubator we have going on right now, which are heading into lockdown on Thursday. Yeah, the importance of having a good male to female ratio is so that you don't have uh, as many fights and aggression within your pins. And we have rearranged the quail so that there are fewer males and more females to kind of balance out those hormones. But y'all, I'm sorry, this is going to be a really short video today. I normally like to get longer ones out, so to speak, around the five minute mark. But today is turning out to be one of those days where I have a lot to do out of nowhere. Um, I'm going to have a video coming up probably within the next day or so of a necropsy on one of our rabbits that just passed away that we're having the Viking funeral for. And then also we're going to talk about pastorella protocol um, in your barn as a rabbit tree. We do not have an outbreak. We're just taking preventative measures and that is something I'm going to explain in the upcoming videos. And again, I'm so sorry for how short these are for today. I'm just, today is not a good day. I am not having a good day. And I'm gonna be honest about that because when I started this channel, I was very upfront where I was going to share everything with y'all. Like the good, the bad, the ugly, everything that has to do with raising animals on a homestead. Unfortunately, you don't have good days all the time. So I'm gonna take care of this bad day. Thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.